guys welcome back to another video i hope that you all are doing well this is going to be another pilot vlog i'm starting a two-day trip today and i have a layover in phoenix tonight so i'm really excited to take you guys along with me i just started to get ready i already did my makeup and I'm about to do my hair now, but I wanted to show you guys how I do my hair because I don't change up my hairstyle often. I pretty much do the same thing every day. This is my go-to style for work and I've gotten a lot of comments asking for me to show you guys how I do it. The first thing, I have my hair, which is like pretty damp right now. I take this detangler a leave-in conditioner and I just spray this all over my hair. I'm actually running out of it, so I need to get some more. And then I take my brush and I just brush through everything and then I use this hair oil I think this is actually from Japan but any hair oil will work and I just put about that much warm it up and then I just put it on my ends so as for my hair tools I have my Dyson um, air wrap kit thing I just use this attachment and this one so I use these two attachments I honestly don't really use the other attachments and this tool right here is my go-to I use this every single day and I also bring this with me to work it's very light and small and it's just perfect I love the way that my hair turns out when I use it it's by hot tools surprisingly $30 on Amazon I'll link it in the description but this has been my go-to I highly recommend it so I'm just gonna use this attachment to rough dry my hair first. Then I just use this attachment to help dry my roots and help give it a little bit more volume. So lastly, I'll take my hot tools brush and then I put it on the highest setting. I'll take sections of my hair, brush it through, and then slowly twist it like this while the hot air is like drying and setting the curl in place. I just do that all over and that's how I do my hair. Alright, so I'm heading out of here in a little bit. I'm just getting my meal prep and my snacks together for me to bring on my trip. As you know, I usually do meal prep for all of my meals. However, there's this one restaurant I want to go eat at again. They have this peanut butter jelly burger and you might think I'm disgusting for even mentioning that. You have to trust me when I say that this burger is so good. I discovered it because the last time I was in Phoenix, the captain and I went to go eat at this restaurant. We're looking over the menu and the waitress came over and was talking to us about this burger. And so saying how popular it was and how many people liked it so we've decided to give it a try that night and we both actually really liked it I kind of want to try it again it's been like four or five months since I've had a layover in Phoenix I have my other meals meal prepped with me here and I will show you guys what they are all right this isn't gonna be the prettiest this is more of like a last minute um, lazy meal prep but I have chicken meatballs and Japanese sweet potato this is what Japanese sweet potato looks like I absolutely love them what I'll do is I'll of course wash them and then I wrap them in foil and put in the air fryer for about an hour at 400 degrees until it gets really soft inside. I love having Japanese sweet potato. I highly recommend it if you've never tried it. I have two of those. I also have these protein pop tarts by Legendary Foods, the cookies and cream and blueberry flavored one. I love to eat these when I'm flying with my coffee. It's just nice to have when I'm craving something sweet. And of course, I have my blendy sticks and my Nescafe. I always keep these with me. I keep a handful of them in my flight bag and cooler. I just love adding these into my coffee. I love bringing chopsticks because you can basically eat anything with them. Very small and convenient. So this is what I'm bringing on this trip. All right, so I'm just ordering some coffee. This is a hack for ordering Starbucks at the airport. Usually the lines are super long, but if you order ahead online, by the time I get to the airport, it's ready for pickup. I just used my stars, so now I just got myself a free coffee and it's gonna be there when I'm at the airport.
not too long ago it's about like 9 15 right now and i slept in this morning i was so tired last night we got in pretty late and i went to sleep pretty late around like 11 30 12 um so i didn't really vlog much of last night all i wanted to do was take off my makeup and go to sleep once i got to the room i'm awake now i'm feeling pretty energized i'm about to go down to the lobby to get some breakfast and then today our report time isn't until 3 p.m so i have all day in phoenix to kind of do what i want and just relax i'm definitely gonna go to the gym and then i think i might still go to that restaurant but yeah that's my plan for today to the gym right now but first i'm gonna make myself a little pre-workout drink i have this little sample it's a watermelon candy flavored pre-workout by muscle tech oh that smells so good it smells like um watermelon jolly ranchers or like lifesaver gummies or something like that Let's give it a little taste that's good I actually really like it. I could tell though that like if I take this every day, I'm probably gonna get sick of the flavor. For my first impression, first taste, it's really good. I love bringing the belt bag by Lululemon with me on my layover. It's small and it fits everything I need, like my hotel key, chapstick, or my AirPods or whatever. So I really do love this. ready to go down to the lobby our first flight is to LA and then we're gonna fly back here to Phoenix and then fly home so it's gonna be three short and easy flights hopefully everything goes smooth and then I will be done with the trip It's 1.08 a.m. By the way, my good friend Brandon took this photo. You guys may know him as Speedbird on Instagram. He's super awesome. You guys should definitely check his page out. He posts a lot of great aviation related content. So I was supposed to finish around 10 p.m. Just got off. It's obviously 1 in the morning now. That was kind of funny because I remember earlier today I said that today was going to be short and simple and I totally jinxed myself. That's just the reality of this industry. Usually things will go as planned but for the times that things don't go as planned you kind of just have to make the best of the situation. I'm really happy to be back in my car. I'm excited to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one